If you know my channel, I think you realize that I like to uh, show off some of the new bootmakers, particularly the small brands uh, that have started out and trying to do good things. So I thought I'd do the same for some new YouTube channels, as well as a couple of YouTube channels that have been around for a while that I watch a lot. G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy, my channel uh, reviewing boots. Uh, my name is Tech, and I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which I'm recording, the Wajit people. Now, if you've been a long time uh, subscriber of my channel, or if you've watched my uh, videos for a while, you'll remember that I did one of these videos a while ago, showing off some uh, new boot channels that I really admire, including some of those that I really like, and really tipping my head uh, to those that inspired me. Um, I know we all know the big guys, you know, uh, Stridewise, Stitch Down, uh, The Boot Guy, uh, Boot Spy. But I thought what I'd do is um, look at some of the new channels that have come up and why I like them. And in the meantime, I'll also take a look at some channels that I have watched for a long time, but maybe uh, might not be on your radar. So let's take a look. The first channel that I'd like to mention is a small channel called Yushu. The young man there, Ryan, I think does a very nice uh, review of the boots that he uh, looks through. And he's actually starting to put together a really decent collection of boots that I think you'll enjoy uh, watching him review because they're also the types of boots that I personally like, like, you know, service boots in particular. Uh, and he does a few comparisons and all that, which are quite interesting. But I'm comparing the Viberg brand compared to Grant Stone and see what's best for your money. I do believe, and I'll get into it in a little bit, why I think the Goodyear welted Viberg boot is just as good as their stitch down. Uh, Ryan uh, actually produces quite a lot of content and he's very consistent, which I quite like because it means he's popping up a couple of videos uh, every week. So go and take a look at his channel, Yushu. The next one that I want to talk about is a young couple in a channel called Babbling uh, Boots. They've been around for a while. I, I think might even be a year, possibly even two years, like time flies when you're in this game. Um, and I like them because they, they put a fresh take on the boots that they review. Uh, they do go from sort of the mid range to the higher end boots. And that may be why they're not reviewing a lot of boots. Uh, I like their format, particularly when they're on screen together, because they, they play off each other quite well as a, as a young couple would, I think, I guess. Basically, you just want to brush until your arm feels like it's going to fall off. That's a really great way to do it. Yeah. We really should probably take these laces out as well. <laughs> so that's a tip that you We should have done this before the video yeah, started. The other thing about babbling boots is they are a little bit inconsistent. Like you might be watching um, uh, uh, one of the reviews three months ago and then they stay silent for two months and then suddenly three or four pop up. I think it would benefit them if they sort of were a bit more consistent like you Shu. Uh, a, a third channel that I've been watching very recently, and I think he's quite new because there's only like six or seven reviews so far, uh, is a channel called David's Garage. Uh, not too many videos, but I like what he's reviewing and how he reviews them. Uh, and also, uh, his videos show some good production value, so uh, he's got a good camera for sure. And now I'd like to mention some of the channels uh, that I like to watch. And I like them because of the way that they uh, really get into the, the, the boot industry, if you like. Uh, very honest sort of reviews of various things with a few quirky things here and there. Uh, one, of, one of them that I've followed for quite a while is Kudu Soul. Um, and he does a lot of high-end boots, really nice boots. So yeah, I'll try to give the dome score two. The leather, two stars. Now, that doesn't mean the leather is shit, but it means it's not suitable for dome. Why? Because it's waxed suede. Obviously, I knew it was a bit of a gamble to start a dome with brown waxed suede. Uh, you never see his face. And that's often a shame, I think. It'd be nice to see his face. Tom from Kudusol. Uh, but the, 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 the way he takes on his reviews are very detailed and uh, into 
the types of boots that he likes, which is also very similar in taste to mine. Another uh, channel I'd like to mention is Quality Boots, spelt Q-L-T-Y Boots, one word. Uh, the gentleman there does a lot of work boots, so he'll do high-end P&W boots as work boots, and clearly I think he uses them. So it's not quite my style. I mean, as you know, I've gone into P&W boots, but he does um, uh, good uh, no-face reviews of those boots, pointing at the boots, showing them out, and he's very knowledgeable about those boots and what you wear them for, because I, I guess he, he's, he works with his hands and he works in those boots. A good channel to watch. And this is the Predator Orange. You can see. And this is the Overlander. They are both uh, 8 inch. This one have the Vibrant. And then finally, this is an older channel. It's almost vintage style. He's become a friend of mine on Instagram. Uh, and I, I really like his style. It's out there. He's into engineer boots a lot. Not uh, the type, the style I like. Um, and his type of jackets and so on in, in the vintage sort of uh, 50s and 40s, 50s and 60s styles again, is not quite the, 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 the sort of fashion that I follow. But I'm really, enjoying Jake's, uh, I'm really enjoying Jake's reviews because he has a very different take on things and he looks at things from a different angle. Um, he's very, he's very um, firm in his opinions and he doesn't mind saying uh, what he thinks, even though it may not agree with sort of like the general trend out there. One of the things people like kind of talk about like horse hide versus cow hide, is it really worth it or not? I would say if you're going to get a pair of boots from a great maker that is cow hide or a pair of boots from a lesser maker that you're not as jazzed about that's horse hide, you know, if I'm getting a really nicely designed, a better design, hand welted boot versus a lesser design, Goodyear welted boot with horse hide, I'm probably going with the better boot, but with the less interesting weather, right? In general, that's what I would do. Now, there's exceptions to that, obviously, and I've actually made exceptions to that. Very straightforward reviewer. I love his style. Uh, and, you know, quite honestly, I, I can learn a lot from him because he's very knowledgeable uh, in boots. So, yeah, you know, there you go. It's a, it, this is a short video. I'm sort of filling in some time as my eyesight is recovering from cataract operation, I, I had both eyes done. Uh, these glasses are going to be replaced soon. I have to admit they're, they're a bit fuzzy for this distance, and I understand that I probably won't need glasses for the long distance. Good news. Uh, but I may need a different, totally different prescription for this sort of short computer uh, distance. But in the meantime, I thought I'd put this very short video on uh, just to display, you know, what a what a, a burgeoning community this boot community is. I love the people in it. I love what they do. And on YouTube, there's something special. Go watch them. So in the meantime, don't forget to click and like on my channel. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to get out there too. And uh, if, if you uh, would like to, leave a comment on the people that you like to watch as well. So until the next time, you take care of yourselves. And I'll see you again soon.